fuck. I had a plastic bag and just ripped it. She bad shit. Fuck. I just destroyed it. Shit didn't stand a chance. They ain't on the mission today. Huh? Whatever today. Oh, you talking to him? No, I ain't talking to him. He just texted me. Oh. Uh, I don't want to talk to him no further. I ain't so far away from him. What's up, honky? <laughs> you know, Elmer Fell look alike, nigga. I got I got scripted again. It's all 49. I'm saying 49. Yeah, I was reading that earlier. I thought it'd be a good one. Following safe, it's not fun to be honest. It is all happy. You know? The guy looks like a serial killer. These devils are filling the pinch yet. So 49 and 1. Here's this, all ye people. Give ear, all ye inhabitants of the world, both low and high, rich and poor. Oh, low and high, rich and poor, people. Together. My mouth shall speak of the wisdom. Meditation of my heart shall be understanding. See, everything we're talking about is wisdom and knowledge, okay? We ain't talking about no bullshit. We ain't talking about who the best rapper is, who got the best freestyles. You know what I'm saying? We ain't talking about no sports stats. We're talking about no foot. That's the most knowledge people in the hood have is who got the highest uh, scoring average in the NBA. You know what I mean? Or who got the most assists. You know what I'm saying? The most block shots. <laughs> that, that's knowledge in the hood. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's wisdom and understanding. That's wisdom and understanding. <laughs> wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, how they say it. That, that shit don't even matter, man. You know what I mean? Sports is irrelevant. Look at this big ass bitch, man. Like right now, a lot of people are paying attention to what's going on with this faggot right now, man. Them faggots coming out the fucking cut. Everybody just rejoicing. They, they, they can't wait to look for the news to see what fag that came out the cut. Oh, know? who got fired? Michael Sam. Oh, yeah, Michael Sam. He's a big faggot. That's some trifling shit, man. That's what That's they say. It's funny he plays for the Rams. Yeah, he plays for the Rams. Yeah, he getting rammed in his yeah, asshole. You see, nobody wanted to draft him. Rams just did that shit just, you know. So the NFL didn't get persecuted by the gays. Because mm -hmm. now, yeah, because now the gay people are on a witch hunt. If you against homosexuals, they're trying to destroy your whole career. Yeah. But fuck a faggot, man. Like, if you're a famous person, you just need to come out and say, die, faggots, die. You just need to say, kill faggots. Fuck all you faggots. I don't give a fuck. Okay? That's the attitude you're supposed to have. You're not supposed to be playing politics with a motherfucker, trying to be politically correct. Just say, I hate faggots. That's what you say. You know what I'm saying? Your boy D. Hill Hughley said on the radio today that He's all for people uh, doing whatever they want as long as it makes them happy. But he's also for people being able to be able to criticize it if they want to. But D.L. Hughley's a big faggot. He's a faggot himself. I mean, just look at the way he talks and moves. And a faggot. He looks like a big faggot. A faggot. He's fucking queer. Him. Right. He's a faggot himself. He's part of the Boo Lace Society. Yeah, he's got to suck mm -hmm. cock to, be, to get that show he got. Don't he got his own show? Great on radio show. Yeah. Oh, he got his own TV sales. show, too, don't he? Right. I don't, he had his own. TV yeah, I don't really watch it. I seen him on TV. I won't something. watch it if it was. I won't watch right. this shit anymore. I never liked him. Never, ever. I never liked him either. Right, never. Never. I never, ever. Like, at Kings of Comedy, mm -hmm. I hated his part. It was winning mm -hmm. funny. It was, no, it was, it was terrible. useless. What was the point of having him on that show when they could have got a thousand other comedians that are it halfway was, decent? It was horrible. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I always thought he was a big faggot. It's ah. raining a little bit. We're getting protected. Yeah. Ah. Now, we got the bus stop and it start raining. Um, I will incline my ear to a parable. I will open my dark saying upon the heart. Right, so the Lord said he speaks in parables. Let me get that scripture real quick. Uh, Matthew, uh, what is that? Ain't that Matthew 12? The parable he speaks parable. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, yeah, Matthew uh, 12 or 13. Yeah, 12, it might be 13. 
Yeah, it is 13. Because he's speaking parables because oh, yeah, it ain't meant for like we out here in front of these people, but they don't understand. They don't understand shit we tell them. I got it. Uh, this is Matthew 13 and 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them of parables? Mm -hmm. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Right. Now you is the elect only. The, the elect only. It ain't just an ordinary uh, dickhead, faggot rights fighter out there, you know? Right, because mm -hmm. these people, they can't understand parables. Right. You know what I mean? And I read that scripture again. Okay. Um, I will incline my ear to a parable. I will open my dark saying upon the harp. Upon a harp, just like King David used to play the harp. And it, it, this also lets you know who the Israelites are, too, because who makes the best music? Mm -hmm. Israel makes the best music. Like, the modern-day harp is the guitar. Now, who's the best guitarist that you ever heard? Yeah, they got a harp player up in uh, in South Africa. I mean, like, too expensive harp. He's terrible, though. He paid, like, 15 Gs for it. But see, the real harp, though, is a guitar. Right, he's terrible. Like, the best guitar player, everybody will agree, is Jimi Hendrix, all right? He pretty much the indisputed champion. And let me tell you something. Israel, period, that's jamming musicians that's playing the guitar is out playing any goddamn everybody, other nation. Everybody. Every other nation. Like you go, Everyone. Like, like, like Stephen Ray Vaughn, he's an Israelite. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, even the dudes from Metallica. You know how I can tell Stephen Ray Vaughn I'm an Israelite? By the way he dressed. Why he dressed and dressed like a Native American. He got, he got, yeah, he got that Native American feel to him. Mm -hmm. yep. Just like your dudes up in Metallica. They're Israelites. You know what I'm saying? To be able to play a guitar like that and utter them dark sayings. If they get on, they make the music. They, 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 they hit your ass with a parable in the music. You know what I'm saying? That's Israel's spirit is to speak in parables. Just like even a lot of the rap music, like Wu-Tang. Swing, you call it swing. They be in parables too. Like right. even Wu-Tang hit your ass with parables. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Even though they ain't coming with the whole truth, right. but it, they still got that spirit in when they speaking in parables. You know what I'm saying? Who else is the good musician? Uh, I mean, we go on for days with the music. Parable, that's just an Israelite thing, speaking. Speaking wise saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cause that's how Israel, Israel like to meditate on music, like to break, I wonder what that meant. And they always trying to break break a song down, trying to figure it out. But a lot of y'all, you can't figure this song out though, you know what I'm saying? This, song, right, right, right. That's right. this is the main song you need to worry about is this word. This is that unreleased track that's only released to the leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. It's only given to a select few. <laughs> a few. 144,000 is a little, small, tiny fraction compared to all these bastards of Oh, back. yeah, the Lord said when we when we come back, we're going to sing the song of Moses. Mm -hmm. It's going to sound good, too. You know what I mean? Right, right. Most high can listen then. Wherefore should I fear in the days of evil when the iniquity of oh, my man. hills shall compass me of Hey, when the scriptures come out, Satan and his di dominions come with him. <laughs> it's like a portal opens. <coughs> yeah, but that, that transdimensional uh, demon portal opens up, and you just got hordes of Satan's minions coming out that motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's amazing. Um, wherefore should I fear in the days of evil when iniquity of my hills shall compass me about, they that trust in their wealth and host themselves in the multitude of their riches. Uh, that, 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 read that again, because this goes out to a lot of these rappers out here. This is the spirit that's on these people in America. The woman too. The, if you get on the internet, you get on the Facebook, or all these internet sites where you fuck with bitches, you try to look for women, all the women talking about getting money. I got getting the money, getting the business. Money, yeah. That's all they talk about. They be like, chasing. they be like, if you ain't speaking dollar signs, you ain't speaking my language. I've seen that on numerous profiles. Yeah, yeah. There's no end to that. And shit. read that again. Loving life, chasing yeah. money. <laughs> they that trust in their wealth and boast themselves in the multitude and boast of they their riches. They love to take pictures of their uh, piles of money on their bed. Or the woman, yeah. the woman oh, be on the internet, she'll good. take a picture of herself laying in a bed full of money. Oh, when that's not even, well, federal, sit out dollar bills and $10 bills and $100 bills, that's not money. 
That's paper. Okay, that's some shit they printed out on a goddamn printer. Anybody can go print something on a printer, that ain't money. Gold and silver, that's money. Okay, and actually the word of the most high, this is real money, actually. This is the real riches. Them Federal Reserve notes, you got ain't worth shit. You know what I'm saying? They spread it neatly across the band, yeah. too. Why is they, everyone does that, man. And then they, all that money got pictures of your slave masters on it. Yeah. You know, George Washington, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my goodness. Even on the $50 bill was who? Ulysses S. Grant? Now don't you know, Ulysses S. Grant was a general for the, for the North in the Civil War. Here it is, they claim the Civil War was about slavery and it wasn't. It was about states' rights, okay? But don't you know that Ulysses S. Grant owned slaves after the war. They had to force him to give them up. And he was a, a general for the North. But y'all, you see, people don't, they don't know shit about history. You know? And he's on a $50 bill. The $50 bill, you remember the Goonies? $50 bill. <laughs> That's not shit. They said they coming out with a Goonies part two. It's just gonna be horrible. No, that's gonna be terrible. America lost that steam. They got no, they got no spirit. Don't have it. What's your name? Just not the six hours thing. Oh. Um. None of them can can by any means redeem his brother. None of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to the Most High a ransom for him. It's like. Twenty eight sixteen says, yeah. No man should body. No man should body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like I said, your money ain't shit, man. Your money ain't shit. These bitches ain't shit. Okay. Motherfucking, you ain't shit. If you ain't coming in the name of the Lord, you ain't shit, man. You know. That's all there is to it. All them hoes is checking us out, wasn't they? <laughs> so them bitches ain't shit, man. They probably heard us say that. They get amazed. Cause really, when you look at it, these bitches out here ain't shit. A woman, all she gonna do is, if you if you trying to be a man in the Lord, you trying to teach, your woman's gonna come against you. She's gonna cause problems. She's she gonna try to prevent you from teaching. <clears throat> Quick. Yeah. Cause they get jealous of this truth. They get jealous of the body. Yeah. You're showing such a commitment in the I mean, This is your main woman right here in the first place. You want to come second. That's true. Especially if she's no good to you, you know? Bitch, what the fuck wanna deal with a woman that don't cook, don't clean? You go in some nigga's house, they got a woman, man, the fucking house is fucking filthy as fuck, bitch <laughs> don't got a job. She just Explain busy. Explain that. She just busy getting high on some pills. So, so, none of them can by any means redeem his brother nor give to the most high rest for him. For the redemption of their soul is precious, and it ceases forever. That he should still live forever and not see corruption, for he seeth that wise men die, likewise the fool and the brutish person perish and leave their wealth to others. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Hold on, hold on, look at this one. I can't wait till the Lord destroy the public wealth. We don't put up with thousands of curses on them already. I read that again, that Psalms 49 and 11. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. So y'all people in America, your inward thought, you think America is going to continue forever. It ain't never going to end. It's going to go on and on and on. They going, you know what I'm saying? Well, here it is. America is the most wicked country in the face of the earth. In America, you can be a faggot. And y a lot of y'all, y'all are faggots, okay? Most of you men are faggots. You take it in the ass. You're a bunch of weak bitches, okay? Y'all be wearing pink shirts, tight pants, and you talk like girls. You're afraid to speak up for anything. And on top of all that, they're full of fucking infections. All kind of STDs, and diseases, and diseases. You know? And they just spreading that shit, man. That's crazy, man. It's an actual vibration going around. Sodomite fever. That's what it is. It's crazy, man. That's why I say, if, you, if you're a famous person and you talk, speak out against faggots, <laughs> you'll lose your job, your yeah, career they, yeah, they get will be destroyed. Yeah, you, you, yeah. Your career will be destroyed. Yeah, they're starting to get more and more aggressive going after people that ain't. Well, it's, yeah, just like when your boy, uh, that Michael Sam, when he came out and said he was a faggot, 
Then you had some like some players in the NFL that, that were mad about it, and they got in trouble. It, I think there was this dude from the Miami Dolphins. I forget his name, but he but he he spoke out against that Michael Sam shit, and they they sent him to re-education training. <laughs> he, he needed since he hates faggots, he got to be re-educated. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, here it is. He, what kind of sense does that make? You're that's funny. When the Bible says a faggot got to be put to death. Now, let me get it. Yeah, it sure does. You know, you know, and you're bored like they went after Tim Hardaway. You see that? No, nah, I didn't see that. A couple years ago, they went after Tim Hardaway because he spoke out against uh, these he? faggots. Tim, oh, you remember like, Tim Hardaway? Oh, he's like Tim Hardaway. Yeah, too. I like Tim Hardaway. Yeah, he's a good yeah, point guard. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. went after him, but he, he, he reverses. Oh, see, you know, he had a reverse. Uh -huh, That's how uh -huh. they do it, because they get know, threatened. I remember that shit, too. Tim Hardaway. Um, who else? Because um, this is so-called Jews behind all that, too, man. Right. Who was the other basketball player that they, they went after? Oh, Kobe Bryant. Oh, called yeah, somebody that, Kobe Bryant did that. He, he called somebody a faggot or something. Yeah. And then, but he was, then he changed his mind. Kobe. <laughs> Kobe. And ever since then, you know, Kobe ain't really been the same. Uh, he ain't been the same. They probably threatened his ass. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the so-called Jew owns the NBA. Oh, okay, and the Jew's the biggest faggot on the so-called Jews behind this. The so-called Jew was behind the women's liberation, the women's rights. They was behind the the faggot rights movement. They're behind all that shit, man. Yeah. And the Jews know that the Bible says to kill them. They know that. Too. That's why they push it, man. People, they want the Most High to kill them. Yeah. All of this. Yeah, because they want it. That's their job. Is to get, Yeah, because they try to get Israel to sin. That's what it is. Because they think they go, because they're really Esau, they think they're going to get their promise back. That's what their plan is, right? Yeah. I read that in the, uh, uh, it was a conversation with two Jew rats talking. Man, I can't remember. That's why the so-called Jew, he he, owned, he runs the porno industry, too. And there's nothing but Israelites in all those pornos. Ain't nothing. Fun, you know what I mean? All those fine-ass women that... Yeah. All the dudes, most of the dudes would be Jake's too up in the movie. Yeah. Bunch of and all and all the por uh, porno stars, they all got STDs and all kind of shit. All kind of shit. Half of them got AIDS. They still working. That's some foul shit, man. A woman with a pussy. Now nigga after nigga motherfucker after man. They be man. drinking all kind of nut. Mm -hmm. One after another. And they be drinking it too. And they they think they got an actual <laughs> solution to that cleaning cleaning. Man. You can't. When you swallowing different nut every day, there ain't no cleaning that. Okay? Ain't no cleaning. Different types of DNA going in your pussy day after day after day after day. You can't. You can't. And there ain't no getting that out of there. You can match that smell temporarily. That's it. But them diseases ain't going no motherfucking way. <coughs> hey, let me get this scripture. I'm going to read both of them. Uh, Leviticus 20 and 10. And the man that commits adultery mm -hmm. with another man's wife, mm -hmm. like that, that porno is nothing but adultery. You got, mm -hmm. I mean, they just fucking everybody. Everybody's fucking everybody. Everybody's right. fucking everybody. Right. They have the bitch will suck a dude's dick out of, after he got done fucking another man in the asshole. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they be, they have fun doing it. Oh, your boy right here. You got his documents. Oh, what's up, homie? It's a little chilly out today. You got your documents this week? Documents. Oh, oh yeah. He said you're great documents. <laughs> <laughs> I got something for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Edomites is crazy, man. <laughs> so remember you said you, you wanted to see some type of evidence that T-Rex evolved into a There's no evidence you can't show us, man. <laughs> well, I know it's, it's I know it's not gonna convince you. Because it it evolution not. is bullshit. <laughs> you know, it's all bullshit. No. Man. I actually looked it up. And There's like hour-long documentary. I should be ever evolving into oh we all evolved. Oh look, he got tux. <laughs> he got a tux to paint with. This is from uh, University of California, Berkeley. This is the evolutionary tree. Okay. Aren't you source? Well, Berkeley, that's just a communist cesspool. Of course it is. Okay. <laughs> but you see, like, there's all these ones that are extinct, but then you got on this side crocodiles and alligators and stuff, and all the way over here, modern day birds. Which means <laughs> the, the extinct ones in the middle, T Rex, Velociraptor, are all basically distant cousins of. Modern day turkeys, chickens, it is stuff a, like that. Come on, man. That so I can tell you sense. I'm a descendant of Ky Kyle L, and you're going to be, oh, you, you know, you just possible. Okay, that's you that's know? certainly possible. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not, not going to say it's impossible. Let me ask you a question. I am Kyle L. Okay. <laughs> I am Kyle L. So, <laughs> you believe in evolution. 
origin? Who created the Earth? What I... That's kind of a misnomer as far as a question. It's, that implies that there's a person. Now, do you, believe, do you believe in the laws of physics? Yes. Now, how could there possibly be laws? It, it, they must have been set in motion by someone, right? Well, you could say that uh, the laws of, of physics or the laws that govern the universe, the constants that govern the universe, were set in motion by an intelligence. What does the word universe mean? I would, I would say that... I mean, you're, what is you're, it, you're asking for my, my definition. What does it literally mean? As far as I know, I give you, uh, it, it's yeah, one. universe basically means all that exists. Well, what, is the, what, what is the word? Break it down, though. Una. What does una mean? Everything. It means one. Yeah, okay. What does verse mean? What is a verse? Existence. The word verse. In, in, are you talking about like in the context of the Bible or something? Like well, I'm just saying, like what, a, what is a verse? I don't know. You tell me. I, I'm, you don't I, know. I mean, you have a weird definition for everything. No offense, but oh uh, no, this is what the word means. Okay, well, well tell me what it, it is. Just one word is one saying, one verse. The universe, university. Okay. Yeah. Universities were created by the churches. Do you know that? Historically, yes. That's where okay. we went to learn that, that, so that, that was the only people back back in those days that were educated. Do you realize? Like, were who? They, they say were, that again. Back in those days, the only people that were really educated were who? Were priests and bishops and exactly. those, those type of people. So and, it was the here's, here's the reason, here's the reason. Anyone who professed something that they disagreed with would be burned at the stake. That's not true. That's the Catholic Church. It's absolutely but true. Actually, I was about to tell you the word Catholic means universal. Yeah, I know that. You know that? I, I was brought up that. Oh, uh, was you? Yeah. But read, read that. John, John, St. John, John 1. Okay, St. John 1 and 1. <laughs> In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was the Word. Yeah, okay. Or the logo. And the Word was with the Most High. So that was the beginning, was the Word. The beginning was the Word. Not the, big, not the big Bang. Okay. The, when the Most High spoke, and he he brought everything into creation. But here's the thing, you're basing, you're you're reading that as if it is 100% fact and indisputable. And that's exactly what it is. You it's know, 100%. we would have no... And I don't, I'm not convinced by that. Let me ask you a question. Who's the greatest scientist of all time? That's but, that, who, that, that's who like do, asking what's what's the most green right, blade of grass. No, it's <laughs> not. Come on, who contributed more than anybody else? Who contributed more than? I mean, most scientists will tell you I would, that I would, Isaac Newton yeah, is the I greatest would probably scientist. Say ever. Newton or maybe Einstein. Einstein is a fraud. He stole, he's a so-called Jew, and he stole all of his work from other people, bro. Okay, all right. I'm just telling you. I, 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 would, I would honestly, I would probably, if I were forced to say it, I would say Newton. But I put Einstein in a close second. Now, do you know Newton called, referred to atheists as odious? He said they were odious people. So was everyone at that time. But here's, no, the, here's, the, here's the difference. Newton, when he went into his lab or his, his up in his room in his house, where he did all, where he basically invented calculus, he was calculus. able to check his faith at the door and say, you know what? Check I'm, his faith. I'm just interested in the math and focused on that. It didn't really bring religion into it. He said, no, yes, he did, exactly. He he, he uh, attributed all of his knowledge to the Lord. Don't you know that? That's That has nothing to do he, with he how said, the He said works. the Lord created the laws of physics. So? The Lord created everything. That's what he said. And that's perfectly valid, but that, he, he that wrote doesn't whole dispute papers, how the world works. He wrote whole papers breaking down Bible scriptures. So? Okay, so Newton, and not only that, but he said he received his knowledge and visions. Do you know who uh, Nikola Tesla is? He was also a so-called Christian. Yeah. Do you also know that he said he received most of his knowledge through visions? Yeah. He would have a dream sure. or a vision, and everything would be revealed to him through the Spirit. So explain that. I, I had a vision just the other day. It was basically just the equivalent of an idea that popped in my head. Everyone, if, if that's what you want to call a vision, then everyone has visions every day. Explain a vision, though. Where's that coming from? Your subconscious. It's coming from the Spirit. Okay. It's coming from the Holy Spirit. But you're you're making a. It's spiritual. You're doing some mental gymnastics Meta metaphysical. Okay, we we on the spiritual you, level, not the physical. You can call it, you can call it a metaphysical or from the spirit or something like that. But there's a perfectly rational explanation. Don't that you know, it works better. Don't you know the scriptures say? Even my is unbelievable. Don't you know the scriptures? That's you know the satanic philosophy is that everything is physical. Mm -hmm. We live in the physical world. Exactly. So if, we it must, were, if it were satanic, wouldn't that mean that that's what the satanic Satan Bible is God, but, and, and God? Because, I mean, I don't believe in the devil either. Neither do <laughs> Satanists claim they don't worship Satan either. They just believe in themselves. <laughs> they worship their self. 
That's Levain. They, they've Satanists, and they're not, they're not necessarily religious. But what I'm telling kind of you, kind of you that all they believe in is the physical world. Yeah. That's the satanic philosophy. Yeah, well, they would also then technically be considered atheists. They're just kind of crazy atheists. But what I'm saying, though, is they're not spirit. The Bible says uh, to be carnally minded is death. Yeah. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. And you know what? I would actually say that makes a little bit of sense because to be carnally minded, you're focused on the, the physical, flesh. The, entirely the physical. So yeah, basically when you die, you die and that's it. That's why I'm going back to it's, Nikola Tesla. That's actually true. I see so, you got Tux, so you're into technology. Yeah. Okay. So explain to me how Nikola Tesla, Tesla received knowledge through vision. The man, he invented the radio. We wouldn't have electricity in our houses if it wasn't for him. Yeah. Okay. okay. And he said he received his knowledge through vision. He can say he received it in a vision. He can say he received it by looking in a crystal ball. It doesn't matter how he received it, just that he came up with the idea somehow. He didn't come up with it. He didn't come up with shit. Was just given to it was revealed. Well, you to can't him. understand something spiritually, what we're saying. If he was he was given something, he was given the wisdom through a spirit. All through a spirit. But you're assuming. No, it's it's obvious. It's just common sense. That's just okay. common sense, He's a spiritual man. It's, it's, but you think thinking on a physical level still. You just can't, no matter what you, you can't even pretend that you're not thinking on a physical level. You know? I, I can I can basically go through the motions and say I'm not, I'm thinking on a spiritual level if I want to. That doesn't make it true. Let me read this. This is 1 Corinthians 1 and 19. Okay. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will that's, bring to nothing. Well, that's what we do. Because the wise, who's the wise? so-called professors and like i said before in secret a lot of these 20 30 year professors who've been uh like studying history and uh, ancient history for years a lot of these guys are secret devil worshipers they worship marduk and the anunnaki how okay? do you know that i mean they're open about it bro i mean that's I, where all I've this never news. heard of this. I, you would think if they were open about it, this would be on like CNN there, or they're maybe. back there studying ancient cuneiform tablets. So, okay. Okay, explain it. Explain the logic with their behind that tattoo. You got this tattoo? Yeah. I, I just happen to like the art. It was based on uh, art by uh, Alex Gray, who does a lot of uh, album cover art for uh, the band Tool. Tool so I kind of tools. I had it kind of wrapped around. Yeah, yeah Tool. That's some industry music. I hate and I despise industry music. You do? Yeah, it's all because it's all created by the so-called Jews. The, the devil Did you know they base a lot of their music on mathematical formulas? On homosexuality. They base a lot of their music on mathematical I know formulas. who Tool is. I can't stand them. There's a lot. There's a couple songs that actually follow the. Um, oh, they worship Satan pretty much. What you're saying. They do, I, I guarantee they're devil worshipers. Well, it's in the town, right? Yeah. And most of these musicians, even Dave Mustaine came out. You know who Dave Mustaine is, don't you? Guitarist for Megadeth. Right. Yeah. Even he came out. He's on Alex Jones. He's on Alex Jones show. He said that he, a lot of bands are actually devil worshippers. He said back in the day, he because he calls himself a Christian now, but he said he used, they used to, people used to actually make blood packs. When it be, you know, they cut themselves, do a ritual, and yeah. pledge allegiance to the devil. I've heard a lot and of that. And then he said he will put hexes on his albums. Yeah. So they actually do I'm, that. I'm not surprised. It's a lot of that's like just more or less. It's like it's like fan fiction. It's it's like it's like these guys that um that are like so into Star Trek, they go to conventions, they dress up and everything. They're well, just into it's, they're, it's they're a, just into some type of a movement. It doesn't well, make, doesn't make it true. a whole other story. See, it doesn't mean they actually do it. That, no, they're taking it seriously. Trust me. A lot in <laughs> secret, a lot of these people have you ever heard of a breeder before? A breeder? A breeder. Someone who Okay, it's, okay, now these devil worshippers, what they do, they have their secret covens and, and they have secret meetings where they go down, they got their little dungeon set up. And they'll pick one woman in their little cult, and everybody rapes her. They have giant orgies, and everybody rapes this one woman. She's called a breeder, and she'll get pregnant after having a hundred or so men uh, bust a nut up in her. I've they don't know who I've the father is, but then she'll have the baby, then they sacrifice that child, and they don't tell anybody about it. And they, she keeps doing it again and again. And they, they hear that she's, there's benefits for her. Yeah, she, benefits. She'll get money, she'll get a high-paying job, you know what I'm saying, probably in the tech industry I, or something. Know, 
I'll, I'll agree that that's some sick and twisted. There's stuff. A, that's there's a dark is. underworld in these. Uh, but I don't think it's necessarily prevalent with college professors. I don't. I've never seen any evidence of that. Oh, uh, that's why they have Greek fraternities. We talked about this last yeah, week. Yeah, I remember. And they pledge allegiance to Apollo, bro. Now, who in their right mind would pledge allegiance to Apollo? I mean, personally, I wouldn't, because I think the whole concept of Greek symbolism in fraternities and just the existence of fraternities is really antiquated and silly. Well, but I mean, honestly, it's really nothing more than just, oh, I'll be part of this tradition. Well, these cows just it. teach nothing but Socrates and Plato. They're what, very what, significant well, figures. Uh, who, who does Plato worship? He, he believed, Plato believed in the God, oh, the yeah. God. Well, so did everyone else, man. This whole society is uh, what you call a Neoplatonic society. Okay. Just like Plato said, it, he, he, he dreamed a perfect society would be when a child did not know who his mother or father was. <laughs> Just like in America, That's no true. child knows who their mother or at least their father. their father. Soon they're going to make it so, as soon as he's born, the state takes him, raises him up in a uh, government facility. Wow. They got several movies where they switch babies anyway, man. Child support is not a conspiracy theory. Uh, oh, no, I'm, 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 women I don't on, child support exists. Women on Maury Povich looking for their baby's daddy. Yeah, it happens from time to time. It happens time from time. Uh, do, do you know what a divorce rate is in the black community? Oh, oh it's oh. huge. It's oh, huge. Oh, I, oh. I believe that. I'm just saying that that doesn't mean that children have no idea. Who they don't have no, have no idea. It probably, have no it probably happens from time to time, but it's not time really as time. prevalent as everything else. It's becoming the norm. Just like they're increasing homosexual, they're forcing homosexual behavior on you. They're forcing, forcing homosexual they, behavior they force, on anyone. They force you to accept it, okay? And if you don't agree with it, your career is ruined. You're fired, okay? Well, no, you that, lose your that's, job. A, that's a misunderstanding of the freedom of speech. You're, 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 allowed, you're allowed to disagree, and you're allowed to be offended. You're allowed to say that you disagree, and you mm -hmm. find it offensive. Mm -hmm. And you're also, no more, you ain't. Mm -hmm. you're also allowed to be basically fired right, Okay, if you're allowed to disagree, then how can uh, David Sterling uh, from the NBA, what's yeah. it? They, they're making him lose his job just because he's an old racist bastard. Of course, he's so, no, 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 According to freedom of speech, you're allowed to be a racist. He is. And you can also suffer the consequences when the, uh, what? the rest of the public doesn't like what? you. Well, if, okay, if there's freedom of speech, how come there's consequences for your speech? Thank you. That doesn't make no sense. You should be able to say what the hell you want You're to say. You're still allowed to say like, it. Like, I'm a racist. You're allowed to say it. I respect the over racist more than most of us consuming this shit. Yeah, exactly. You know? Because every last NBA owner, they're all racist. They're all so-called Jews. The only, the only issue I really had with the whole Sterling thing is that he that he was bugged in his, the privacy of his own home. That's the, really the only objection. Once it was out, though. I mean, it, it, right, once it was out, I mean though, he's still a jackass. Once he once it was out, I'm mad at him. There's I'm absolutely him. there's absolutely no reason he shouldn't have lost the team and shouldn't have suffered all kinds of consequences. So, so you don't really believe in freedom of speech then? No, I absolutely You're do. A I absolutely do believe in freedom of speech. He just, I mean, it's unfortunate that. That happened to him they because, no because speech, bro. his privacy was violated. But you suffer the consequences when you are a bigot. We don't want bigots in our society. Why not? Guess what? That means you don't want freedom of speech. If you truly believe in freedom, of, actually, and we don't believe in freedom of speech. Okay, I'm totally against it. Okay, okay. good for you. I am totally 100% against freedom of speech. <laughs> okay. Freedom of speech. Yeah, the free to say you worship the devil and free to say I love a faggot. We, we're not with freedom of speech. Okay. Freedom to uh, disrespect your parents. You okay? Freedom to uh, disrespect the king. Okay. We, we're not. We're not with that. So you you want something more like a? We want order. Uh, like a fascist dictatorship. No, a theocracy. A the Okay. In, in the kingdom of heaven, there will be a, the, the Lord. We're gonna rule with the word of the Most High. We're gonna rule with a rod. Hey, get, of iron. get that. Revelation two and twenty six. We rule with a rod of iron. A rod of iron. A rod That's of right. iron. You know what? You know. Does what that sound like freedom of speech to you? No. And and I, would, I wouldn't want to live there. It'd be a, going it's going a beautiful though. place. You're going to. You're though. going to. Either you're going. If you die on this side, you're going to be born in that side of the state. It don't matter. You're going. It's going. This is going to happen. Going yeah, it's going to happen. When I die, microbes will eat my body. That's yeah, really but it. your spirit is going to come right back into a new one. You think when King James, was, <laughs> there's no such thing as a spirit. You think when King James, what? There's no such thing as as a, as a soul or a spirit or anything like that. So how are you standing here? How are you talking? talking? Crazy? Biology. <laughs> he said biology. <laughs> what is? Oh, whatever, man. <laughs> you can't get scriptures to it either, Bible. You just can't do it. What you want to get this one? What did you want again? Revelation two and twenty-six. Two and twenty-six. Oh, okay. Okay, two and twenty-six. 
Revelation 2 and 26. Um, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. Keeping his works, teaching his word. That's the main thing mm. you're supposed to do. <laughs> to him will I give power over the nations. Power over the nations. We're going to rule all nations on the earth. Keep going. That's and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he shall rule them with a... This is the red letters. You know what red letters mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay. What's that mean? What's yeah. that mean? It's the more important part. That's what no, it's you actually, want to highlight. Yeah, yeah. it's important. The whole Bible is important, yeah, but it's but the Lord himself. It's the Lord himself. It's the Lord himself. The one you call Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> and he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shiver. So all these heathens, we're going to break all these heathens to pieces. There's going to be no more multiculturalism. <laughs> There's going to be no more uh, Buddhas and Hindus and Muslims Allah walking Allah. around. Allah. Yeah. Ain't going to be no Allah okay. Akbar. Okay. okay. Can I, I forgot I, what that meant though. Can I make it just means praise Allah. Allah. Do, you, do you realize what it's Allah like? Allah like, because... From, a, from the perspective of a non-believer, when I hear you guys reading from this book, you have to understand, to me it doesn't sound anything we know it, like anything more than someone reading from Harry Potter. You know. But Harry Potter was written, was written by a menstruating woman. This was written so, by a man in the Lord. It was written by and actually, let me, no, 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 Harry Potter, no, Harry Potter, Potter is a wizard. What does so, the Bible say about wizards? It says they'll be burned they'll be and they'll be taken death. And, and, and so, 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 yes. so that's I totally more, understand. So that's more proof that we live in Satan's kingdom <laughs> because hey, they're pushing wizardry <laughs> and sorcery on our children through children's stories. Right. Teaching our children to be wizards and sorcerers. Which is evil and it's, wicked. The children understand this fiction. No, they no, actually they don't. They do not. See, because actually do. you don't understand the all these works of fiction, uh, Hollywood, these books, comic books, is a form of magic, okay? It is a form of metaphysical magic, and, and, and it alters the way a person thinks and perceives reality, okay? Do you know who Alan Moore is? Alan Moore? Alan Moore. Yeah. He's the best comic book writer of all time, <laughs> probably Absolutely. one of them. Absolutely, yeah. He says he's a magician. He says pretty much all his work is propaganda and magic. And it, he can it, say that? He does say that. He's allowed to? And he, and he tells you that the num number one magicians are writers, directors, artists, musicians. Because when people listen to this satanic music they got on the radio, it puts a spell on them. It puts a certain vibration on them. It alters their mood and it alters their state of consciousness. Talking about inspiration. That's what I would call it. Uh, yeah, inspiration. What does the word inspiration mean? It comes from the word uh, spire, like respirate, to, inspire, to, yes. to breathe. It yes. puts the breath of the devil in them, is what it does. Devil. Mm. Mm. I would say that that book is putting the breath of delusions and nonsense. And you can play some crazy heavy metal music, and people will go crazy and start tearing shit up. That's a spirit got put on them. You can, uh, you can listen to some, just no, you can listen to some crazy rap music and we'll go rob somebody and shoot somebody. And it makes you do that. <laughs> I think it's just adrenaline. That's you just get spirit. hyper and that's all, that's all you, there is to it. Well, yeah, it's just adrenaline. Right. And we'll bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the strong? Where is the disputers of this world? Have not the most high made foolish the wisdom of this world? So the wisdom of this world is foolishness. Okay? You're talking all this evolution madness. It's foolishness. Just like yeah. even your boy Darwin, he did not even believe in his own theories. Don't you know that? <laughs> Every scientist has self-doubt. Because evolution that's, that's, that's a good thing because it, it causes you to reevaluate and make sure you don't have any personal yeah, you need bias. To, you really need to reevaluate. Make sure you make sure you have, don't have any. Have you ever done that? Have you ever had you know wondered if you are personally biased to? I do actually. Actually, I do, and that's why I always check to make sure I know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm constantly studying, constantly researching. But you do understand that the process that you're using is saying, do I really understand what I'm reading in the Bible? Let's go make sure by checking the Bible. I do know. That's, uh, circular, the Bible, that's circular logic. No, it's not circular. The Bible is 100% true. So if I know that the Bible is 100% true, why would I not listen to it? That doesn't make any sense. That's like you do realize I, it's been that's like mistranslated. I, that's like I can take my keys to the house. Like, what's been? Give me an example of what's been what? mistranslated in this body. Okay, okay example, I'll give you a good example. example. Since you're I'll a you, biblical scholar, you should give us an example. I'll give you a good example. In, I believe it's the Gospel of. You believe? It's either Mark or Matthew. Don't sound too sure. Hang on. 
It's either Mark or Matthew. You should know precisely. Since you're an expert on I'm these not a, I've never claimed to be an expert on the So Bible. if you're not an expert, how would you know if it's true or not? I'm claiming what I've been told what you by an told? expert. Oh, I've seen it. So, not, but, you got but, some second-hand knowledge. Why, why do you think me? they're fighting over that land of Israel right now? Exactly. Can I, can I finish why my point first? Over can, I, can I finish ahead, my point? Ahead, I want to finish my point first. So it's either, it's either at the very end of Mark or the very end of Matthew. Okay. When okay. They, they find uh, Jesus in the tomb, right? Do you know the very ending was not in the original version? It wasn't added until hundreds Mark. of years later. Mark. Yeah. No, that's what they claim it was added. It was not added. It was always, always there. It was always there. Of course it was. And so, so every biblical scholar is wrong. They, they, right. they never said that they were 100% sure. It was there, okay? In the most receptors, it is there. I think a, Do you a, know a, vast, a vast majority of all the biblical scholars will say that, yeah, it was probably What's the Texas receptor? What's what? what? What is the Texas receptor? I, I can hear The Texas Receptus. Texas. 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 Receptus. Receptus. What is, is it? Latin? Yes, what is that? You don't know what it is. Something about written text. And the If the you don't know what that is, you have no business speaking on these matters that we're talking about. <laughs> okay? I got Because that okay. is very crucial. I'm not allowed to have an opinion, huh? Not if you don't know what the Textus Receptus is. Well, why don't you tell that, me? That's the Greek text, the Greek text that the King James is based on. Okay, the, the Greek version. That's okay. That's the official title then. That's yeah. what you're telling no, me? It's, it means the received text. The received text. That's the official text. Okay. Okay. So? The, the other Bibles are not based upon that text. The King James is based on that text. Okay, so the King James is the most authentic. Right. That is in the English tongue. That is correct. Okay. And you know, there have been... The, the King James Version is mistranslated from the Greek? There are some mistranslations in every single English Bible ever. Yeah. Because you cannot have a per... Here, but so, so here's what I'm what I'm saying. You say the Bible is perfect. How do it you know perfect. that it's perfect given that there have been mistranslations? How do you know... The Spirit is doing First, you got to study... Spirit. First, the Spirit. Spirit. Okay. First right. you have to study the Hebrew and Greek. Because when you study the other languages, then you know there's no I, such thing as a perfect translation. I didn't know you spoke Hebrew. Huh? I didn't know you spoke Hebrew. You have to study Hebrew to read the Bible. Are you, are you fluent in ancient Aramaic? Well, Aramaic is just a... The Bible is written in Hebrew. Yeah. Aramaic is just a dialect of Hebrew. Yeah. Okay. It's but, the, and, the Aramaic and, alphabet is... But, a, you're, but you're basically fluent in the language of that time. Well, we read... You have to read Hebrew to read the Bible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's no getting around it. You have to study Hebrew. Okay. okay, but you but so but you're you're telling me then by by extension that you are fluent. I'm in not Hebrew. fluent speaking, but I can read it pretty good. Okay. Just like I'm not a fluent Latin speaker, but I can read Latin really good. Okay, you can't be fluent like unless I have someone to be talking Hebrew nonstop every day. Okay, I, I'm not fluent in Spanish. I sound like a retard, but I can read Spanish really well. Okay. I, I can speak it good enough to get by. Okay. okay. It's like many languages. I'm not fluent in Greek, but I can read. Can you read the Greek alphabet? Uh, I know uh, quite a few letters. Like so, but I but I can't. No, I'm not fluent in Greek either. That's what I'm saying. You have to study all. You have to study Greek, Hebrew, and Latin. That's a, that's a must. I am fluent in the scientific method. Though. What does the word science mean? Knowledge. It means knowledge. Yeah, there you go. You told me that already. Oh, I, told I, you. I knew that beforehand. Oh, yeah. you knew yeah. it already. I already knew that, yes. And, and I remember last time you, you said that you yourself are a scientist. I am a scientist. He's I a scientist too. I think, and he's I a think scientist. most people in the actual scientific community would probably laugh at that. Oh, yeah? Because there's a process of constant reevaluation and peer review. And the, I, the, I, the things you claim would not pass the test. I know all kind of knowledge. Mostly scientists are a bunch of quacks, they don't know nothing. You guys have fun. I gotta run. Here you go. Um, Thank the Lord. For after that, in the wisdom of the Most High, the world by wisdom knew not the Most High. They knew claimed to be a now. He claimed he'd be a Bible expert, <coughs> but he didn't know what the Texas Receptus was. What kind of expert is that? And he was. He tried to give us an example. It's either Matthew or John or Luke. We don't know nothing, man. I knew, I knew precisely what he was talking about. He didn't know nothing. It was going go around search. Yeah, he said, to he tried to say we had circular knowledge. That dude's gone.
Yeah, it, it's good to make a good video and to have a good laugh. Mm -hmm. Cause it wasn't edifying him, it's edifying the camp. People watching the camp. Yep. You know, um, it pleased the Most High Yahweh by the foolishness of preaching to save them. Yeah, cause he had that touch the penguin from you know the Linux penguin. I bet you I can program computers better than him too. You probably can't program shit. Probably don't know shit about nothing, man. About nothing. 